the question is not whether AI can produce art, but whether the art that AI is producing is worthy. Hi, my name is Sharon De La Cruz. I'm an assistant arts professor at ITP IMA. Ooh, where do we start? The tools in terms of the accessibility is something like we've never seen before. However, the backbones of those tools are actually like not new at all. And by, you know, going back in time a little bit is a beautiful way to think about how folks were thinking about AI as tool rather than just as output. George Nice, he was a mathematician um, and he created his artworks in one of the first flatbed drawing machines. We also have Vera Molnair in the 1960s. She created her first artworks with a program for an imaginary computer. Harold Cohen in 1973 developed Aaron, a computer program designed to generate drawings on its own. And Riddler, who created her own data set of 200 drawings to train a gun for her animated film. Yeah, so we have a lot of examples that date back to the 60s. Already thinking about this relationship, the accessibility turns into either scraping <laughs> without any ethical implications or in the design, it doesn't necessarily uh, promote data set creations. How are we creating the structures of the tool? And I think we've lost that a little bit. The art artist no longer as like the sole creator of the artwork so what does that mean to the artwork if we're using ai then what is the message